Today we're going to do an ammo function test with the Taurus TX-22 and that's coming up next here on Jesse B Outdoors. Welcome back everybody and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. So what we're going to do today is we're going to run a bunch of different ammo through this gun and just do a function check on it. I've had this gun for over a year now and everybody knows, at least most people, these Taurus TX-22s eat about every kind of ammo they have. The only time I've ever had a malfunction in this gun is if it didn't go off for, from a primer strike where it actually hit good, but the ammo didn't go off, which is known with some 22s. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what ammo we got real quick, and then we'll get started. All right, now you can see here we got quite a few different ammunitions we're going to be trying. We got some bulk box stuff here from a bunch of different companies. We got Aguila, Federal, Winchester, Remington, more Federal, CCI stuff, Winchester stuff. We got some CCI Blazer, some Norm Attack, Arms Corps. This should be a good variety of ammo to try out. So let's get started. First mag we're gonna shoot is gonna be CCI Stingers. All right, CCI Stingers. All right, did all the stingers just fine? Let's move on to the next one. This magazine we got is gonna be CCI mini mags. All right, let's see how the mini mags do. All those fired just fine, let's move on. Now we're gonna do some CCI standards. All right, let's see how the standard velocities do. And all those just fine. Now we're gonna do CCI blazers. All right, let's see all these blazers. Do. Ran all those just fine. Now we're gonna try the Norm Attack 22. All right, we got the Norm Attack. All those just fine. Now we're gonna try the arms core out. All right, arms core 22. Got a little ahead of myself there, not counting fast enough. <laughs> but they all went just fine. Now let's try the Winchester Super X. Winchester Super X. Good old Winchesters, we ain't got a failure to feed. There we go, we got it in. Another failure to feed. And that was the rest of the mag. I figured if this thing would fail, it was on Winchesters. This is the first time I ever shot Winchester in it. Now we're gonna try Winchester Silver Tips. This is the first time I've ever shot these. All right, Winchester Silver Tips. All right, went through those just fine. That's a good thing too, because people might be carrying these rounds in a 22 for self-defense. Glad to see those do work. Now we're gonna do Federal Bulk Pack. All right, Federal Bulk Pack. Let's see how this one does. Right, ran through those perfectly fine. Now we're gonna try Federal Auto Match. All right, Federal Auto Match. I figured that one would work because I got a bunch of it and normally that's what I run through this gun because it's cheap at Walmart. Never had an issue with that except for maybe one not going off. That's not the gun's fault at all though, that's the ammo. Let's keep moving on. 
Now we got a Gila Super Extra Hollow Points. All right. A Gila Hollow Points. Let's try these out. All right. Perfectly fine on this. Now we got the Aguila Super Extra regular round nose. All right, Aguila round nose. Ran all those just fine. Now we're gonna try Remington Golden Bullets. This is the only Remington I could find in my area. Sometimes I've had issues with these, but not very often. I really wanted to get my hands on some Thunderbolts, but there's none in my area. So this is the only Remington we have to try. Remington Golden Bullets. Failure to feed. That one didn't go off. I'm gonna recock it and see. The rest of them ran fine. Like I said, sometimes I've had issues with Remington Golden. Other times I had it. So let's move on to the next one. Now, like they say, I always save the worst for last. We got the Winchester White Box. Most people know Winchester White Box and about any caliber is pretty much crap. You get bad rounds all the time. Let's see how this one runs and see if I eat my words if it makes it through this whole mag. Winchester White Box. Oh, it made it through the whole mag of that. That's a shocker right there. I'm surprised. That was the last box I have. Let's finish out this video. Now, as I was going through the video, the ones that had any malfunctions in them, I put them off to the side. And I'm not shocked. The two I had malfunctions with was Remington Golden Bullets and Winchester Super X. Not surprised to have issues from either one of these companies in the 22. The rest of them ran fine. Now this Taurus TX-22, like I said, I've had it over a year now. I shot a lot of the Federal Auto Match in it just because that's what Walmart gets. And I bought a bunch of it every time I saw it. So I got a ton of it on hand. That's why you see me use it in a lot of 22 videos. The Federal Bulk Box and the Red Box, that's the third box I've had of that. That's actually some old stuff. And uh, basically that's a 550 pack. And I had three of them. That's my last box. So this thing's ate two boxes up of those. Absolutely no issues at all. Now the CCIs, I have to admit, every CCI one I ran through this today is the first time I ever shot those CCIs through it. The Stingers, the Standard Velocities, the Blazer, and the Mini Mags. That's the first time I've ever shot those in these. Also, the uh, Winchester Silver Tips. It's the first time I ever shot that ammo in here also. Arms core is the same way. That's the first time I ever shot that ammo in here. But I'm not shocked from the results. Pretty much if you get a decent 22 ammo, this Taurus TX-22 is going to eat anything you put in it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it would be fun to get the Taurus TX-22 out, put some rounds through it. I tried to find as much different ammo in my area as I could, and that's what I came up with. If you guys got any other ammo requests you want me to try in this, put a comment down below and I'll try to find it if I can. But I'll tell you right now, I don't order online because I don't like paying hazmat shipping. So if I can find it in my area, I'll try to pick it up and get a video made for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave a comment down below if you like videos like this. We are One Nation Under God, and I'll see you all on the next one.